beginning of this year 2014, it became apparent that I need to make a contribution to the county. And I realized that the girl child is one of the victims of social um, ills and uh, economic uh, problems. And this has affected them in terms of going to school, in terms of um, fitting in society and uh, performance in school per se. So I decided that for the first police office to make a contribution, we start a project that we call Skip a Lunch, that targets provision of sanitary towels to the girls in primary and secondary schools, especially those in public schools, because that is where you find the poor who can't afford this, and also provision of um, um, which is the unimix for ECB or the children below five years, even in the hospitals. So I started this project sometime in twenty uh, in March uh, twenty fourteen, and I presented the concept to friends, and uh, they thought the idea is very good, and uh, that is when we say that if everyone in Bungoma and skip a lunch worth 10 shillings once a month. And with a population of one over 1.7 million people, then we'll be having quite substantial amount of money that we can use to purchase Uji for these children under five years to reduce malnutrition and provide usable sanitary towels to girls. The beauty of the usable sanitary towels is the the durability because we are given a guarantee of one year. So a girl gets a pack that has six sanitary towels, six pieces, and then there is a piece of soap and two panties and instructions on how to use. Because we know these girls come from very poor backgrounds and they might not even have that soap to wash these reusable sanitary towels. So when we give them this pack, we believe that they, it's going to take care of them for uh, at least one year. This shirika ya skip, ime kuja apa pere spend katika shule yetu, ime tusaitia sana. Aswa mi mwenye pinafs, na uyu mwanafunzi wangu. Na uyu mwanafunzi wangu, ata hapukua na mbufu sana. Nani hapukua mbutaifu mbutaifu. Tamu ya kwanza, hapukuja shule ni mbutu. Like it is the second time the Arianza to Shule. Nakansa to Punya Yu Uchi. Yu Uchi Puri in Musaidia, Sijawai on a Uchi and Banya to the point. Sasa Kumanisha Yu Uchi in Muka Hafia, and you go from Pusa and go for your main game. As I know Nasema, Mama to the Mombea, Yu Shirika ya skip. Is it to Quen the Lea? Napia Quen and Bufu, Idia was a Kilete Saiti Masuri. So the project uh, has taken off very well, and from the preliminary information we are getting, it's really touching the people directly, even those we didn't know. Uh, the girls are now able to remain in school the whole time. Enrollment in ECB has really increased. What can you say about Skip? Thanks so much for helping me, for improving my studies. How have they improved your studies? I have never missed school. How have you been performing previously? So bad. You were position 19 previously? Yes. Now, now, ever since you started using the center tower, top 10. And something that struck me was the boys were even able to open up and confess how they humiliate the girls who, are, who come to school during that period. They are smelling. And they said now they can even join us in our discussion groups because we are the ones who used to ask them. My name is Dennis Neville. I'm a candidate. Yeah, 
most, most of the girls were absent because we want to produce bad smell. Most of the time, we took one with 30 groups. Because we took one six of them. The time for their menses. Yeah. So, then we said that this is the end And another case that they were absent because they were shy. Uh -huh. They don't want to act. They don't want us to see us in front of them because we can draw them away or we can abuse them because of the bad smell they produce. So it is a project that I see that we are going to go places if we stabilize in terms of fundraising. So this is just the initial and people are really embracing the project. We have stakeholders coming on board, including the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Health, they are willing to support so that we reduce malnutrition, so that we improve retention of children and the girls in the schools and um, so far we have started off slow because you know when it comes to issues of contributing money people have to see this as well and as we grow i believe that the kitty and the foundation will really go a long way in improving the education standards of um, our girls in the county and also improve the nutrition of children. You may be aware that uh, Skipper Night is anchored on the Beyond Zero campaign that was initiated by the first lady. So we all do different things uh, to contribute to the well being of the mother. And the way I'm doing this is this mother, this young woman, gets a chance to grow, to mature. So that by the time she decides to be a mother, she's economically empowered, she's mature enough, and uh, she can take care of this child. And all these things will continue to reduce the uh, mortality of the children. They will have known how to take care of those babies when they are born, so we reduce malnutrition, and in the long run, we reduce mortality rates.